Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do number six on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Exam. This is a teacher certification exam in Florida. Now it's a good problem to study if you're a teacher in another state who is preparing to take your teacher certification exams and you need a review of some core math. This problem here involves something called proportions. And we're going to look at how you can uh, set up a proportion and use a strategy to set up proportions. For example, let's say we were cooking something and it required, you know, one cup of flour for every, you know, two tablespoons of sugar. Well, if we want to keep the same proportion in our recipe, and I use, I happen to use four cups of flour, proportionally, what would be the right amount of tablespoons of sugar? Well, there's a whole bunch of different ways to solve this. One way that I like to do is try and create a bridge. How do you go from one to four? Well, if I, um, from one to four, I could multiply by four. If I follow the same bridge on the bottom, two times four, I would get eight. One half is equal to four over eight. So right now, these two, amount, these two values are, we would say, equivalent. Proportions involve using equivalent fractions. If you're comparing two of the same factors, cups to sh tablespoons of sugar, and they're proportional, you're going to be, um, you're really going to be looking at two equivalent fractions. All right. So proportions is sort of a, a fine tuning of uh, working with fractions, decimal percents, uh, and so uh, you can apply some of your background knowledge in that area as well. Now let's look at this problem and, and work through the problem. It goes something like this. A building 51 feet tall casts a shadow 48 feet long. Simultaneously, a nearby statue casts a shadow of 16 feet. How tall is the statue? Now I went ahead and I set up a model drawing. I always do the model drawing when given these problems because it helps me organize the information. So I started by drawing a building and I said, okay, the building height is 51 feet and it has a shadow length of 48 feet. And I started, drew, I drew a, uh, a statue here. Now I don't know what the height is of the statue. I do know that the shadow length is 16. Now the model drawing just helps me organize and visualize the problem. Once I have the information organized and I have a mental picture of what I'm doing, it's a lot easier to work out the proportion because now I can set up a proportion where I'm looking at the height of each object and the shadow length of each object. And in this case, the height is 51 and the shadow length is 48 for the building and that's going to be proportional or we're going to say equivalent to the height of our statue which we don't know um, and the shadow length of the statue which is 16. Now in the last problem we did a bridge strategy which is if I want to find out what this X is all I need to do is find out how do I go from 48 to 16. And in this example, we're not going from a small to big. We're going from a big number to a small number. So you try and figure out what number divides into 48 that would get you to close something close to 16. And in this case, it's 3. 48 divided by 3 would get you 16. Um, now, if I wasn't 100% sure in that calculation, I could always double check and do what's 16 times 3. Well, 3 times 6 is 18. I drop the 8, carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 1 is 48. So I could do a quick double check to make sure that I actually did it right. So now that I know that I'm dividing by 3, that's my bridge, I do the same thing to the top. What's 51 divided by 3? I'm not going to take any chances. Because you saw, it's very easy to make a mistake here. Let's find out what 51 is divided by 3. Well, 3 goes into the 5 once. Drop the 3, subtract them, you get 2, drop the 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. So 51 divided by 3 gets me to 17. Real nice uh, way to get to the answer. Um, so what did I do in this problem? Well, we reviewed uh, the concepts of proportions. We started off there. Then we practiced doing the model drawing to lay down, you know, organize the information. And that helped us um, set up the proportion, comparing height to shadow length. And then we use the number sense and operations uh, strategy where we're, when we're comparing two equivalent fractions, we look for the bridge, um, which is either multiplying 
from a small to big or dividing a big to a small. Okay team, a lot of math here and this is a really good problem to study on a lot of levels. So check it out, do it on your own. If you need some extra help, check out one of the GoMath workshops um, in your state. Uh, we're doing workshops in Florida on the FTCs and in Massachusetts on the MTELs. You can check those out at the GoMath website or if you're a teacher in like New York or California or another, or you're preparing for another teacher certification exam, you can contact GoMath for, uh, for asking to work with a teacher and get some help. All right, thanks a lot, everyone. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.